All right. Hey, everybody. This is Booty Review by JT. I'm here to review the new Mutants, the long-rated, delayed Fox X-Men movie that was scheduled supposed to come out back in 2018, but it got delayed multiple times, and they finally released it this year on August 28th this year. And I finally saw the movie, and I watched it, and I liked it. And we're going to talk about some stuff about this film. This film had a lot of dark elements, horror elements in it. And stuff. It's about these young mutants, these young mutants in, um, in this facility, and stuff, trying to help them control their powers and stuff. Everything about this movie was so good. I just love this movie. They took something. They took an X-Men movie and put, made like a horror element X-Men movie and stuff. And there's one character I did like in the movie. Ayanna Rasputin, Manic, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, was so badass in this movie. Such as she was a bully to Daniel Moonstar's character, played by Blue Hunt. And stuff. Everything else in this movie I like too and stuff. Like the relationship between um Daniel Moonstar and Whoop Bane played by um Maisie Williams and stuff. And the other characters too, like Roberto and and stuff and and, and, and Cannonball, Sam Garfield played by Charlie Heaton, and you got Dr. Casilio Reyes, who's the the woman that won the facility. And stuff. Daniel Moonstar was a character had a lot of was a character a mutant that had powers that she couldn't control and stuff. And there was this demon bear and stuff they had to take care of and fight at the facility and stuff and everything and stuff. And everything and stuff. Doctor Casilla Reyes was supposed to be helping these mutants, trying to be prepared to be X Men, but technically she was help she was actually helping them working for Ep Epis Corps, she was actually really, really pepping them to be killers, not X-Men. So they all bond together. They break out of the facility and stuff. Josh Goon really did a good job with this movie and stuff. And stuff and everything and stuff. I, I just love the new mutants. This movie is so great and stuff. I can't wait to own this movie on Blu-ray next month and everything and stuff. Everything. So I'm gonna be doing a review of the of the Blu-ray DVD and some of the, the special features and stuff like the deleted scenes and stuff. And there's one thing I'm actually really looking forward to is the face wall scene was in the trailers that was not in the film and stuff. I just love this movie so much and stuff. But Iron Terror Joy character, Iron Rest Beauty Man was my was my most favorite character in this movie. And stuff. Everything else I liked it too. The horror elements, the the setting area they was at, and stuff. It's too bad we won't get a sequel because now Marvel owned the rights to the X Men and stuff. But I would love to see Iron Terror. I would love to see Iron Terror Joy come back to play Iron Rasputin in the MCU. She she nailed this role. I just love her every time and stuff. And stuff when they showed it on screen and everything and stuff. This movie was so good, perfect, just love it. I give this movie an A plus. A plus for the new mutants. The last X-Men movie under the Fox was on the Fox Umbrella. And stuff. That's it for my review of the new mutant and stuff. I'm gonna read putting another video, making another video later on today on um, The Riches and stuff. It's on HBO Max. I'm going to be watching and reviewing another video and stuff. All right. Bye now.